Let's check it out. On you to leave. We want to emphasize and show you through the Bible how special you are. This is what we're trying to bring out in the Bible. Listen, obey our Father so what's the bless you. When the kingdom comes, guess what? You can have the chance to go to the kingdom, right? right. So listen, listen to this, my sister. Read it. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Bring it up. For thy art and holy people until the Lord thy God. Blacks and Hispanic, you're holy to the heavenly Father, the creator of everything. He said, you're holy to me. Right. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. Check this out, my sister. Out of all nations, he created all nations. He said, for you, my sister, I chose you. To be a special people unto himself. I want to. I want my daughter to be special unto right. me. Bring it out. Right? You're special to the Lord. Above all check people. This. Check this out. So it's not equality. He said, but what? Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So you, my sister, the Father is saying, according to the Bible, that you are above all the other nations. That's how much he loves you. He created you. He chose you to be above everybody. He said, yo, you from the chosen seed. Right. I just want my daughters and my sons to just listen to me. Right. It's like, do you have kids? Okay. But like your parents, right? When your parents, he's like, yo, obey, obey me. So he said, you're special to him. Right? So if you love me, keep the commandments. So that's why I said, when it comes to the dress codes, listen, it's too well because that's the way our father wants us to dress. Right. Right? Uh, like the modesty, give me the modesty. Leviticus 20, 20 26, real quick. And the modesty. So this is what we're trying to do. We're trying to build our, our people up. You understand that, my sister? Because in, in life, we already beat up. Right. We get beat up on our own people. Our depression, finance, and this world is hard, is right? So what we're trying to do, we're trying to uplift our people up, saying how special you are, my sister. We just got to listen to the Lord. That's all it is, because you're special to the Heavenly Father. Give me this real quick. Leviticus chapter 20, verse 26. And he shall be holy unto me. So he want what? Holy. Do you know what holy is, my sister? Holy. What's holy? To be holy when you separate. When you separate something that's holy to me, that's special to me, right? Okay, well listen, my sister. Give me, if you love me, you got to do the right 22 and 5 and all that, right? Yeah. All right. Matthew 19, 16, before she leaves. She don't love me. Paul. Read Book of Matthew, chapter 19. Verse 16. You this know. is what we're trying to teach our sister right here and all our brothers' family. How you doing, family? Listen, what I'm teaching How my sister right here is what? How special we are according to the Bible. Right. Because in the world, we say, listen, okay, the Lord right loves here. everybody, yeah, you but you don't see our condition? You see our condition? If the Lord is all about love, why are we always in the body? Why are we, why are we always yeah. try to get high and drunk just to get away from our problem if it's all love in this world? Right. That means we're missing something. It's something going on because in our community, there's hundreds of churches. But guess what? The block right next to the church be the dirty, the drug dealers. So it's something they're not teaching correctly. Because if not, the whole neighborhood should be fixed. Is that right? So this is right here. Give me, uh, give me that. Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? I'm trying to bring to the system. What do we got to do? what get the chance to heaven to make the father happy what do we got to do because it's about action right so our people in churches what do they say to make the lord happy what do we got to do do we got to keep the commandment or just have faith have faith right that's what they say so they say all you got to do is believe and have faith and you straight but according to the bible it takes action right and this is all and he said unto him how you doing my sister why call us tell me good there is none good but one. So listen, family. Christ is saying there's only good but one, right? Check this out. That is God. But if thou will enter into life, so if you want to have any chance in getting into the kingdom when Christ comes, if you want any chance, keep the commandments. Keep the commandments. Obey me. Obey me. I'm your heavenly father. I created you. I put breath in your life. Obey me, and I'm going to reward you with eternal life. Bring it out. But if you don't do nothing, then I'm not going to reward you. That's what we're trying to teach our, our brothers and sisters. That guess what? There's actions involved. Because when you go to church, or if you have gone to church, they say they give you songs, you feel good because it sounds good, and you leave, but you don't have no solution to your life. Wow. Your marriage is in shambles. It's still crime. You're still dealing with death around you, depression. But they're not giving you. Listen, this is how you fix it. I am. To the to the to the Bible. You understand, my sister? Yeah, you you're my type of preacher. But my sister, if you got a few minutes, you wait right here. I do what you do. I'm on what the street. I travel. Well, listen, my sister, you love the Lord, right? I help people hold this. Exactly. 
You know what, my sister? I help people holistically. Holistically? Yes, I do. You mean that it takes more uh, in wisdom and silence. But listen, my sister, do you believe in the Bible before I continue? Of course. Okay, cool. You know about the Ten Commandments? Yeah, but I, but that's only one I got to keep, though. Which one is that, my sister? Love. Love? Yeah. Okay, my sister, so explain to me yeah. before you leave. Can you help a younger man explain to me the action of love? Because love could be in different actions. Right? In the world, yeah, some people love to do. Yeah. So, can you teach, show me and share with me the love? How do you express your love towards the Lord? How I express my love is yes, I, I serve I serve others. Oh, you serve I others? feed the hungry. Love. I just housed 31 individuals that were homeless. I okay. furnished their houses. Okay. I also provided them food. So that's, what I, that's what I do. I, I show the love of God by showing it to others. That's how I show it. And, and, and I said, listen, I'm not downplaying all that. That's yeah. actually good. But let me give you this real quick. But they, don't, they don't teach you that. I, I've right. I grew up in church all my life. So I believe it comes from out of the street. Now watch this, watch this. I'm going to show you the love because what you're doing is good. I'm not that's saying it's more, not. That's just but watch this. But watch this. First John chapter 5 verse 3. For this is the love of God. So this is, this is clear as day. This is the love of God, right? That we keep his commandments. Yes. Right? And his commandments are not grievous. Right. So do me a favor. I'm gonna up. give you, I'm gonna give you I, it's not grievous. I'm gonna give you one, right? No, that is the verse right there. Yeah, it is. But I put, so, I read what's before and what's after. But listen to this. Before you go, I'm, 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 I'm gonna give you this as you leave it. Nehemiah chapter 9, verse. Oh, no, that's not what I want. Exodus chapter 20, verse. Verse 8, this is the fourth commandment, right, my sister? Out of the ten. Remember the Sabbath to keep it holy. Remember the Sabbath day okay. to keep it holy, wow. separate, right? Six days thou shalt labor and do all thy work. Right, you got six days, go ahead. But the seventh day, what is the seventh day? No, but what is the seventh day, it said? You mean what we shall pray as the Sabbath here? What is the seventh day? Answer. What is it? Tell me. Ask me what day it is. I'm asking you. No, but I'm listening. Because the thing when we come out here, I'm trying to this because I could just talk, but the thing is we're trying to engage with our people. So I'm asking my sister to your knowledge and your understanding. What is the seventh day to your understanding? You know what I'm saying? Because listen, that's the same thing I'm telling my sister. Our people sometimes we come out here and our people get defensive, like we're trying to beat you down. We're trying to edify and help our people. So that's why I say I'm trying to ask you as my sister. What do your understanding, your knowledge, what is the seventh day? The Bible tells me yes. that the Sabbath is the Sabbath day or the seventh day. Okay. That's what you're saying, seventh day. No, no, yes, you're correct. It's seventh day. So in the calendar, what day would that be to your understanding? Saturday. Saturday, right? Mm -hmm. Good. So, we, so me and you are appointed. We're on the same day. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. So now it's saying for on this day, which is today, correct? It said we got to keep it holy. But I, I believe every day. Six days thou shalt labor and do all thy work. But it's like that. It says six days you shall labor, right? So you got what? Sunday, which is the first day all the way to Friday, right? right. Just like the Lord, he right. did all this work in Genesis. But the seventh day, and so he made particular. Saturday, which is the seventh day, God's saying that. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Of the Lord, not me. Not me, but of the Heavenly Father himself. In it. Thou shalt not do any work. So on this day, we're not supposed to work. Right. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, nor thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. I mean, literally, nobody no supposed to work. Now, now give me not that Not even mind. drive a car, not even leave the No, no, house. it didn't say that. Work is work. No, no, no. When it's it says to work, work, listen, if it's work, go take a shower. Well, that's work. No, I guess I ain't going to take a bath. Thank My baby needs to uh, change a diaper. That's, oh, you have, that's it's two different really things. Now, that's I, ridiculous. I've heard people dash nah, no. That is far beyond. They added to the they scriptures there. They are. They are. But I'm just telling you. Thank you. They said you Mexico. Listen to this. And listen. So it says don't work, no buying, no selling. So I'm giving you this commandment that guess what? As you going, I'm telling you, on this day, we're not supposed to buy and sell. I'm not, uh, we're getting exercise. Nehemiah, chapter 10, verse 31. Listen to this, my sister. Though, we won't we won't sell. Sell. And if the people of the land bring work or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell, so if they bring anything, any stores are open, try to sell to you food or products, that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath or on the holy day. So today we're supposed to do no buying and selling. You have all the other days to do so. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community.
nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 